Beware of looking for goals, look for a way of life, decide how you want to live and then see what you can do to make a living within the way of life. And this is what this is. This quote by author Hunter S. Thompson are words to live by for the new owner of Patrick's Second Hand Bookshop. For Daniel West, a lifelong love of books has become his job. I remember when I was living here, you know, 20 years ago, I, on my lunch breaks I'd go up um, to Guidon Street and I think there was a second hand bookshop there and that's what I'd do on my lunch breaks then, so I've always had it, yeah. Returning to his hometown Whanganui and dividing his time between kids, a large lifestyle block and the bookshop is a far cry from the past two decades. Went to Auckland, worked at TVNZ, uh, went to Sydney, worked at the ABC over there. Yeah, so been in television, so coming back to Wanganui was, I actually thought I'd never get the chance to do it again, but yeah. Decent internet, a time difference and remote work now the norm, means Daniel can now enjoy the best of both worlds. The job I left at the ABC has come a knocking to ask me to work remotely from here for them over there. And I thought I'd walked away from all of that and I was like, yeah, that's fine. And, um, you know, I had a serendipitous conversation with Patrick about, you know, buying this place. And I was like, well, that marries into what I want to do, going to do for the ABC very well. So I can set myself up in an office here and I work different hours over there. And so have the best of both worlds. And so I'm getting to live the dream, really. Patrick says he'll miss the daily conversations in the shop, but will continue to pursue his passion of looking for rare books more common in New Zealand than you'd think. He said the point is that when these publishers in America launched these books, they often sent them to the colonies to try them out. I mean, there's one here, I've got one. I think, I think, I don't know how early, The Old Man the Sea, you know. The bookshop's vast collection of books has been built up over more than five decades. I started out in books in 69 or 70. I ended up working for Oxford University Press in Wellington. I was hired as the book rep for the schools because Oxford were the you know, educational publishers. And so what I did, I toured all of the South Island and half the North Island three times a year. So I lived in my car just about and I just did book displays at schools and showed them new publications and, you know, and, and concentrated on selling Oxford's finer publications, which are, which are bloody good stuff, you know. The shop will stay on the same premises, but there will be a name change to Book Hunters. As well as book hunting, Patrick will be moonlighting as an auctioneer at Heritage Art. This unpublished James K. Baxter poem, one of the many items on offer at the first auction, September the 11th, 2pm at Heritage House. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.